fuck is up, juggalos and juggalettes? And if I'm not bouncy or jumping around, I feel like dog shit. <coughs> but I was asked my thoughts on um, Monoxide, uh, Paul's uh, thought, uh, my thoughts on his uh, video last night, his little smoke jet session, Rude Jude, I think he called it. Um, first and foremost, I gotta take this off, fucking sweat like a motherfucker. Um, first and foremost, who gives a fuck about the Eminem beef anymore? <laughs> the fact that they're blowing this shit up to them and like, you know, Paul's, Paul's words on the interview. I listened to the interview, you know, and I, I, I didn't get that from that interview, but at the same time, I know a lot of people will get that kind of shit because, you know, with, with, with somebody that big of a name, they're, 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 they're trying to cut the interview up the way they want to. They got a time, you know, they got to shrink it up and this and that. Uh, I, I do interviews, so, you know, I try really hard to compress everything to a certain extent, but I'm not going to pick and choose what's the juicy shit because that's just not me. That could be them, whatever, you know, even Vlad TV that interviewed fucking ICP, you know, uh, they, they, they were like, yo, the Eminem beef. And I'm like, I've heard about it. I've heard the stories. God damn. How long has it fucking been? Yes. It's a part of history. Uh, you know, yes, yes, I get it. But Jesus Christ, man. I know there's some new ninjas that are like, what? Eminem beef? You know, like I get it. I get it. But I, I personally, as me, as a fellow Sexy ninja with all the fellow sexy ninjas who are probably thinking the same thing I am. Who gives a fuck anymore, man? <coughs> and, you know, a, my, a lot of people are asking my thoughts on this because I, I listened to half uh, of the live session. And I listened more this morning because, like I said, I feel like shit. But in that, I you know, my I, I started from the starting and all the way to the end and him talking about behind the scenes stuff and this and that. There's one thing I took away from that whole session. He's like, do you really want to peek behind the curtain? That that right there like fucking stuck in my head is like, do we really want to? I know I know there's a lot of ninjas out there like we want to know what happened. We want to know why. Uh monoxide told us why in uh, certain stories why you know they didn't tour this and that you know there's two sides to every story but at the same time this shit happens in the music industry shit like this drugs sex and rock and roll baby controversy there's behind the scenes shit we we don't see but we see the nice glamorous outside and when shit kind of like splits, everyone's speculating and hating both camps. And then it's like a split down the middle with the fan base, you know, juggalos and shit like that. Any fan base, really, like it, the, the split, you know, and do, do we want it to be resolved? Do we want twisted back with ICP? Fuck yeah. Who doesn't want that? But. At this, at the same time, at the end of the fucking day, it's none of my business. Do I want to peel back the curtain? Do I want the juicy fucking gossip? Fuck yeah, but I don't need it. Why? Because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm enjoying, you know, all the shit that I have been formulating as, as for myself and getting a chance to interviews and this and that. I don't have time to speculate on fucking bullshit or fucking hate or negativity in all those certain drastic ways because honestly it's none of my fucking business i don't need to spend my time and energy that's what uh, monoxide said that really drove in my head too he's like go spend your fucking energy on something else and that's it, it's true i don't need to worry about fucking oh how come Twisted hates ICP, or how come ICP hates Twisted? How come ICP hasn't said anything? How come Twisted hasn't said anything? Or this and that. It's like, what? why? Why? Why should I waste my fucking energy on that? I don't need to. <coughs> because, honestly, man, it's none of my fucking business. At the end of the day, I have love and respect for both. I know some bullshit and shady shit happen, you know, and that happens in the industry. That happens in the music industry on a label. 
fuck, man, I work retail and I talk to a lot of fucking vendors and I, you know, like hearing the crazy shit with like just Pepsi and Coke and how these people like it's their brand. So, of course, they're going to be fucking shady about shit and people, you know, Coke can't drink Pepsi, Pepsi can't drink Coke, et cetera, et cetera. They see that shit, they get fucking fired. It happens, man. It's a brand. And this is another thing that uh, a lot of people fucking um take out of uh take out of everything god see i can't fucking talk but this is the thing is when there's power involved and ego involved shit happens you know and when drugs are involved shit happens um you know, hopefully one day it all gets resolved. Uh, Monoxide mentioned that they they, they, they tried. They, they've reached out. They've done this and they've done that. Is that true? I don't know. It's none of my fucking business. They, the fact that he's saying they tried, that's fucking dope to me. Um, But that's that's my thoughts on Monoxide. Like, I, I was listening. It made me laugh with the whole uh, TMZ picture. Oh, my God. I, uh, <laughs> and he's all, I ain't going to come back on the fucking internet anymore if you guys make that your profile picture and i kind of wanted to do that and you know it's i i I never want to stir beef i never want to go at anything in a negative light i believe staying in the positivity moving forward and this and that fuck here's an example before i take off um i did an interview with shaggy (laughs) tuda i know i've mentioned a few times i've done a video for it carnival spirits whoop whoop you know they showed um you know, I was sitting on the fucking bus and in the back of my mind, I was like, man, I should really ask him about Twisted. But then my conscience was like, fuck no, dude, this is an opportunity of a fucking lifetime. This is an opportunity to talk to fucking Shaggy Two Dope, a.k.a. I was, talk- you know, he didn't even have the fucking face paint on. I was talking to Joey like a fucking human being. And that was the shit to me. It meant everything to me. Like, I had that experience, you know, and not a lot of people will. And I got to talk to Joey. Uh, yes, the interview says Shaggy Tito, but I got to fucking talk to Joey, man. We talked Star Wars. We talked Royal Rumble. And, yeah, I was like, I could ask him. You know, I, I believe in the interview. I was like, what do you believe of the quote-unquote split? You know, it, it wasn't really addressed, but that's fine. I didn't care, you know, because I got to talk to him about some wrestling. I got to talk to him about Star Wars and shit like that. Like, I don't want to stir beef. I don't want to stir controversy. Like, I interviewed the Dirt Ball. You know, I know a lot of fucking shit happened with Cottonmouth Kings. And I even, he even told me, like, he would skip a question for this. Or if I asked this and I, you know, I told him to, he was like, I'm not in it to stir the beef. I'm not no TMZ to go worry about, like, stirring up some shit from the past. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to talk on this because I don't know shit. I don't fucking know shit. I hear things. I read things, you know, it's, it's all pure, was it Violent Jason's pure speculation, you know, fucking whatever, you know, I still have respect for both camps, and this is why when I do my reviews and I do everything like that, I keep it in a positive manner, I don't want to be like, man, fuck him, oh, no, nah, fuck them, man, the only time I'll ever say that is, <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about these stupid fucking mumble rappers today, that's, that's the only time I'll hate, because that shit's fucking stupid to me, it's still fucking stupid, mm. But that's my thoughts. Um, I, re- I originally was going to call this um, My Two Cents. But the uh, DC Fago guy, that's his thing. <laughs> I knew I was Because I remember that. I was like, oh, yeah, he does the Two Cents thing. I was like, yeah, don't do that. This is my thoughts on uh, Monoxide's uh, session last night. And he's right, man. He, you know, he, he's right in a lot of ways of like, you know, he, they don't want to worry about that shit. They want to move fucking forward with their careers. You know, and ICP have, you know... They haven't said shit. Uh, They've dodged certain things, you know, like with the proof uh, beef being squashed and shit like that, you know, and kind of dodging like, oh, yeah, an artist on our label helped squash the beef, you know, whatever. You know, it's just like, okay, all right, still touchy, still this and that. Let's just fucking get into the music. Let's just fucking just all this dope shit that's coming on the music, you know, to Fearless Fred Fury and then Generation Nightmare coming, both camps you know, uh, imagine Ninja just dropping some fucking bombs over there, like with the fucking uh, uh, axe and <coughs> and with uh, fucking Young Wicked and all this. And, you know, it's, it's all it's all one. Like I'm just getting a lot of fucking dope music. That's all I care about, and it makes me feel good. And that's what it is at the end of the day, because I don't know shit. I don't need to know shit. 
Uh, I don't want to peek behind that curtain because like Minox, I was saying, it's ugly. Do I really want to see it? You know, this Curious George type shit, you know, like, whoa, no, 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 you know. It's like, uh, you know, as much as I'm like in the fucking movies and shit like that, and I see, you know, I like peeking behind the curtain, like, oh, I wonder how they did this. I'm like, oh, well, well, that's, that's cool, you know. I like they did with the prequels, a bunch of fucking green screens, so that was fucking depressing. <laughs> um, but there's my thoughts, man. And shout out to everybody. Much love, much respect. Uh, I will never hate for the sake of hating. I'll never speculate or do this type of shit. You know, well, I do kind of speculate on reviews on songs, but that's a different part. And, you know, you take the song as is, you take somebody's words as is. Um, you could tell me to fuck off and I'll be like, all right. If, 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 uh, if all your energy wants to be towards uh, drinking some of that haterade, uh, salty berry nuts, Drink away, my friend. I'll even provide the fucking ice. <laughs> because at the end of the day, uh, we're all family. We're all in this together. Um, and that's it. That's all. I love y'all very much from the bottom of my heart. And I thank everybody who's given me love for uh, the juggle, the, uh, that juggle of log. Um, there's more shit coming. You know, you just can't stop the grind and hustle. So, all right, ninjas, uh, I am KMB, the sick ninja, and uh, I'll catch you later. Whoop, whoop.